Hello, my dear folks. Welcome to the show, Jack Chow, once again on the East West Show with G N E TV. As you may see, a few days ago we see this beautiful young face on this show, yet with her mother, but now she is on her own because she is fully fledged. <laughs> I think she is.、Uh, to be honest, to be very, very honest, my audience is I have a guest on the show younger than her age. But we were talking about their songs,、yeah. their dances, like those kind of babyish stuff. To touch politics with、uh, people of this generation at this age is really, really, swear to God, is the first time. And I was so surprised, I was so impressed by this young lady, Sabrina Young, who is a student at Safford University,、um, political science,、yes. having her vacation back home in Los Angeles. So, Sabrina, welcome again to the show. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. All right, I'm so glad you're back. <laughs> All right, and by the way, at the end of the show, I'm going to ask you to make a promise. Next summer, you'll be back. Okay. All right. Good. Very good. So, you are such an easy to deal girl. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, so last time we were talking about、uh, the Michael Brown case,、yes. right? You made a very Clear statement. Yes. That was not justice.、Uh, something needs to be found to be found out, and something is totally wrong. And from that point on, we stretch a little bit to cover the part about being the country being divided. So before touching that, before touching that part though, I let me go back to my audience. I made a call to her, had a nice discussion about, would you please be, I mean, be comfortable. To come over here, talk about the politics, American politics, in your eye. She said yes. To my surprise, <laughs> there she is. Right now, we go back from where we started. Right、yes. okay, now, we were talking about what we have done so far as a generation. We sometimes, be it on the left, be it on the right, are proud of ourselves. As a matter of fact, what we do are they. Being appreciated by people your age, in other words, your eye, do you think what we do are acceptable? I feel like our generation thinks a bit too high, thinks a bit too highly of itself.、Mm -hmm. While you guys have made many leaps forward as in terms of science and technology and these things,、mm -hmm. it is the generation, not you yourself, but my father's generation, the generation after him, that、mm -hmm. have ruined our economy. All right. We are in more debt than we have ever been in before. We、mm -hmm. are in. Inflation is higher than it has ever been before.、Mm -hmm. School tuition. Bloomberg did a report.、Um, between 2012 and 1976, 1976 and 2012,、mm -hmm. school tuition on average has raised 1,220 percent. <laughs> Say it again, please. It's.、Uh, I was mistaken. It was 1,120 percent.、Mm -hmm. It is. Over a thousand percent higher than it was in 1976.、Right. When I asked my、mm. mom about what, how much she thinks has increased in the past 30 years or so,、mm. she said 500 percent.、Mm. No, she was she was、Not、off. Not necessary. It was on、Not、average 1,120 percent. Exactly. Let me give you some kind of、uh, input. I've been here in this country for 30 years. For、yeah. the past 30 years, I am exactly the one who witnesses all the difference. Yes. Right now. Back then, in, the, in a gas,、uh, a gallon of gasoline was ninety. No, was ninety-eight cents in、yeah. my time. My time meaning that the time I landed first、yeah. on this、uh, piece of land, right? And a post stamp is a dollar twenty-five. No, 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 no. I mean, a pack of a cigarette is dollar twenty-five.、Yeah. Now you're talking about six dollars and eighty. Yeah. That's five. That's five hundred percent. That's five hundred percent. Okay, now, and a. a Uh, Gallon of gas, four hundred percent increase. Yeah, and an office worker, suppose the entry job, like、yeah. da, 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 pick up the phones, reception the job, makes about eighteen hundred dollars per per、a、month、year. as a salary.、Mm -hmm. Now they're making twenty five. Yeah, something like that. Yes, but you also have to put in,、um, take inflation、mm -hmm. into account.、Um, eighteen hundred dollars in the seventies is a lot more money than eighteen hundred dollars is now. And all now you, you you're talking about. The more than one thousand percent of tuition fees、yes. 
to have been paid to bring her on the job. Yeah. Right? Whereby in the past, the pace that paid 18, now you're paying 25. Yeah. So However, that's quite a bit. Yeah. An entry level job will not necessarily pay off someone's tuition. Mm -hmm. In the 60s and the 70s, you could pay for college with a part-time job over the summer. Because mm -hmm. college was cheaper, money yeah. was worth more, uh -huh. and people had more time. There were also fewer sure, people sure, back sure. then, so there were more jobs available. Mm -hmm. You, it was, right now, it is almost impossible in order uh -huh. to pay for, if you have a minimum wage job in California, mm -hmm. in order to make any money, mm -hmm. you need more than one job full-time. Exactly, which is true, which is quite, quite absolutely true. Of course, you do not have a problem because you were raised in a rich family. Yes. But to think about everybody else of your, uh, of your folks, right? So there's really a big, big thing that brings the pressure to this generation, to this society already. Yes, there has been more than one study done, and uh -huh. high schoolers, mm -hmm. High schoolers in our generation have the same kind of stress and anxiety levels as mm. psychiatric patients in the 50s. Sure, sure, sure. sure. So the people right. who were committed mm. into mm. insane asylums in the 50s mm. have the same stress levels as just high schoolers now. Mm. And you wonder why we have problems. Sure. The fact that you you brought the 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 uh, 1,000 percentage of increase of tuition cost is to make a foundation for the subject we're talking about later, right? Yes. Right. Now, let's talk about it. Okay. Right? So, we're talking about the division of the society. Yes. Right? First, we have, well, all kinds. Let me ask you, do you think they are the same division, or they are the divisions of different categories, or they are divisions that represents different problems? Now, I would say first, number one, the partisanship division. Yes. We do know, we do feel comfortable we have two parties because they are talking about checks balance even within the same yes. house, but they are divided. Okay, that's it's one. Extremely divided. Yeah, so that's one. And the two, second one is being poor and rich, mm -hmm. and the third one is being black and white. Yes. So do you think, what's your comment about the three divisions? The three divisions are, they have correlation, mm -hmm. but I do believe they're completely separate issues. All right. The, oh. Between the two parties, that has a lot to do with her stance on economic levels and mm. based on also her thoughts on different social issues. Mm. Um, because there are, in the Republican Party, there are both a lot of people who are very wealthy and a lot of people who live on welfare and food stamps. Mm. There's that, see, that's a... So those are two different things. All right. <laughs> as far as uh -huh. rich and poor goes, mm -hmm. there are a lot of wealthy people that are in the Democratic Party and a lot of wealthy people that are in the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. And as far as black and white goes, it's more of a difference between white people and non-white people rather than mm -hmm. white people and black people. However, in our history, the biggest and more violent confrontations have been between white and black. Mm -hmm. I do believe they are separate issues. They do have correlation, mm -hmm. but they are separate issues. Mm. Do you, in your eye, as a student of uh, political science, do the three divisions have more coalitions among themselves, or do they have more differences among themselves? It's about 50-50, I, I it's believe. It's about 50-50? Because, mm. because a lot of black people are mm. on the poorer side of the spectrum, mm. but that also comes from the age-old confrontation between white and black because mm -hmm. black people were first brought into the United States as slaves. Mm -hmm. So they've always been less wealthy, they've always been poor, and it's mm -hmm. very difficult for people to move from lower class to high class rather mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. from lower middle class to higher middle class. Right. Because when people think mm -hmm. that America is the land of opportunity, a lot of people believe that it means it's easy to move from being very poor mm -hmm. to very rich, mm -hmm when that's not the case, because the United States has a very large middle class, mm -hmm. and the movement is from a lower middle class to a higher middle class. Mm -hmm. I know it is uh, too early to ask you where do you stand, because at your age, you are not a partisan uh, anyway, right? It's too I early. choose to be an independent. You choose to be an independent. Because so do I, I believe there so are yeah. mm -hmm. pros and cons of both parties. Mm -hmm. 
and all right. I don't think Very it's good. right for me to throw uh, all my uh, votes into one. All right. A young independent, to so to speak, yet have seen the world a little bit, and her major is political science. So we put the three together. We'll see. I feel very inter uh, very interesting talking to her because you know it is quite interesting. So stay with us. We'll be right back.